suckers are a real pain in the base of a fruit tree. They can also, if you don't pay careful attention to them, completely kill off your fruit tree. So what I want to do is show you one of the culprits I have let completely take over with suckers so that you can see the impact that sucker growth at the base of fruit trees has on their overall production and growth of your fruit trees. That's coming up next. So I'm sitting in my food forest and things are a little bit wild at the moment because it's the time of year when everything just explodes and this is one of my pest deterrents, a fennel, allowing it to go to flower so it can bring in some beneficial insects and just throw some scents around. But what I actually want to show you is this pear tree over here. I'm not sure if it's in frame. Yes, it is. This little guy over here is a sucker. This branch is growing from the base of this tree and as you can see it is almost caught up with the height of the overall tree and this is a three-year-old tree so this is the point of today's video what i've done is i've sacrificed this tree to show you the impact that the growth has on the tree and fruit so that you don't have to go through it i like sacrificing some of my things for you guys but let's get into some of the details around suckers and fruit trees so that you know what to look out for and that you never let your trees get to this point. Okay, so before we get into the show and tell of this tree, what are suckers? Like I've mentioned briefly, suckers are growth that come from the base of the tree, but not only that. Most fruit trees are grafted, <clears throat> meaning they have a rootstock which is grown based on the conditions, the height, the size, all of that that you want. You can control a lot of things about a fruit tree's characteristics based on the rootstock you grow it on. This, as an example, is a bonbon pear, but the base is definitely not a bonbon. I can see that the leaves are a different color, they are slightly different shape, so I have two very distinctly different varieties here. What happens is that the rootstock below the grafting point wants to turn into the tree it is meant to be. So what happens is that little piece of tree in the rootstock just explodes with growth because as trees do, they want to put on as much growth as they possibly can to photosynthesize, get energy and start growing to set fruit in subsequent years. But what that means is our graft above the graft point suffers because all the sap flow, all the energy, all the nutrients is going to the rootstock and the growth of that. So in a nutshell, that's what suckers are. So why don't we want to let suckers overtake the overall growth of the tree? Firstly, it takes nutrients and energy away from the grafted named variety on the top of the rootstock. What you will see is lots and lots of pretty rapid growth. And then as you'll see on this tree, little to no growth. The, the, the tree is healthy. I'm going to tell you say that. It's not suffering. It's just not putting on as much growth as it should. As soon as I cut off the suckers, the tree can now start getting the energy in the right places and it will grow. The other side of it is, besides the growth the tree is not getting, it is also not flowering. This tree has fruiting spurs all over, but it didn't flower. And it didn't flower because all of the energy went into suckers. When I bring you in close and you see how many suckers there are coming out the base, you'll very quickly understand why this tree doesn't have the energy it needs to put on flowers to set its fruit. So two main things as to why you don't want to let suckers get out of control in your fruit trees. Overall growth, which means energy and overall health of the tree, and then the fruit and flowering, which is going to suffer, if not completely disappear, if you let your rootstock go unchecked. So what does that mean in terms of our maintenance and care? Let's get in close so I can show you what we're looking at, what we need to do, and just once or twice in a season, go around to each of your fruit trees, move the soil, check it out, 
it doesn't take any time but it's going to save you many many years of growing if you do this simple simple trick a couple of times a year so if we have a look here is the trunk of the tree and if we follow it this is still a branch that is above the graft we carry on down the graft point is over here which means anything below this point is a sucker that is coming from the rootstock and has to be removed you can see if i pull all of these together all of this growth is sucker growth it's a lot of really vigorous growth and if we look at the overall health of the main tree the grafted variety you can see there's a very very big difference in the growth rate of the plant so what we need to do is we need to get to the source of the problem and all the way at the bottom here i can see there's a big knuckle and on this knuckle all of these suckers are coming from so i simply need to take a pair of scissors and you need to get right to the bottom of the sucker cut them out and there you can see that's a lot of growth from a variety of pear we don't want that has sucked a huge amount of energy out of the tree so we need to come in remove the suckers all over and once they are all gone there is immediately a whole bunch more light coming in here but you can see over here there's a really big knuckle that i've now pruned away i'm going to come in and clean this out there's nothing coming from the roots quite often you will find suckers coming out from the roots in the ground if that is the case you just need to dig away find out where on the root it is connecting to and cut it right against the root but in terms of plants like this all we want is to follow down find the graft line and have a look below the graft line for anything that's growing out and if there is anything like this cut it out and you're done you can see it's a couple of seconds maybe a minute or two and that's going to save your tree a whole bunch of energy and put the growth where you want it now i'm sitting in front of this nicely cleaned up bonbon pear tree it has no suckers all the energy can now go into the grafted varieties growth and i have no doubt that now since all of those massive suckers have been cut off this tree is just going to explode with an abundance of growth i'll keep my eye on that knuckle at the bottom it looks like a problem knuckle where every year we are going to get new suckers coming from if your tree has something like that just make a mental note every year springtime throughout summer snip snip keep an eye on it and make sure you don't let those suckers grow if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel where i'll be giving regular tips and tricks like this and please share it out to your communities so anybody else with fruit trees who might have suckers you can save them many many years and hours of struggles until next time happy growing